Hey guys, and welcome back. So today we're going to configure the Influx DB monitoring with a Zabbix open source monitoring software, right? So the configuration part will take again just a couple of minutes. So even if you're not using Zabbix, you can just download it from the Zabbix.com, get it up and running in five or 10-ish minutes, and then just follow on and uh, configure the monitoring of your Influx DB for the first time in an automated way so that discovery works and you don't have to manually add the items, metrics to be collected and stuff like that. So first of all, we have a Zabbix 6.0 here, which is the latest LTS version. And uh, in my front end, I already have a template uh, called InfluxDB by HTTP, uh, which means that it is not monitored by the Zabbix agent or by, I don't know, any third party tools, whatever. This is purely done through the API. So the Zabbix server or the proxy, depends on your configuration, will connect to API endpoint on the InfluxDB and poll for required, required data. And what we will get out of the box by using this template is uh, 18 items. And these are uh, the metrics that we can monitor out of the box without any uh, additional configuration or stuff like that. And we also have one discovery rule, which basically is going to discover all the organizations that do exist in your InfluxDB. And for each discovered organization, it's going to create six items. So the query request failed, success, uh, query request bytes, uh, success and failed, and the same for the responses. So let's start the actual configuration. And first of all, I have uh, Oracle Linux 8, but I don't have InfluxDB installed at all. So I'm actually gonna run the InfluxDB on my Docker. And to do that, we just need to type Docker Hub and uh, search for InfluxDB. There we go, we can find the official image. And then, um, well, basically, I I won't be doing any uh, deep configuration in the InfluxDB. I won't be adding any uh, sources to store inside it. I will just uh, get it up and running. So what I need to search for is uh, just to copy paste uh, commands to actually run uh, the InfluxDB uh, with uh, basic um, configuration. and. This one looks like it, so automated setup, uh, which will out of the box uh, prepare for us the InfluxDB, which is going to be ready uh, to run and ready to be monitored by the Zabbix. And uh, so what parameters we have here, the config data uh, directory, uh, init mode setup. So we are initializing our database, username and password that we're going to be using to log in in InfluxDB. Uh, init default organization called my org and my bucket for a bucket and InfluxDB version is going to be 2.0. So let's go back to my CLI and without any additional editing, I will just copy paste uh, what we copied from the Docker Hub. Click enter. So we are enabled to find image InfluxDB 2.0 locally. That's why the download is starting. And uh, if you, of course, already have existing InfluxDB, you don't have to do any of these steps, right? So, okay, we got it up and running. And then we can try to access the front end. And you see that we are tied on a port 8086. So what we basically have to do is uh, 192, 168. No, wait, what was the IP address? 168, uh, like this. And the port is 8086, right? Yes. And uh, the users, I forgot what was the user. Let's check it here. My user, my password. So my minus user and password is my minus password. So this is how we can actually sign up you know, to the InfluxDB, uh, InfluxDB dashboard. And if you don't have this template, let's say you have upgraded from some um, older Zabbix versions that still do not possess this template, you can always open the official GitHub page of the Zabbix, just github.com slash Zabbix Zabbix. And there is a directory templates and in the folder uh, DB, 
probably yeah there is influx db by http where you can also read information about all of the metrics that are going to be collected uh, like uh, the macroses that we can use and we'll have to change one of them in my case and the metrics like discovery rules discovery of organization metrics get a health of an instance total numbers of uh, ball db writes per second number of total organizations on the server and uh, yeah all the information about how this is actually working but again uh, we don't have to do any deep uh, configuration so if you don't have this template here in the front end just download it from the github of the zabex go to configuration templates click import and uh, import your uh, template to start the monitoring. Since we already do have it, uh, so we have a template, we have InfluxDB running on our uh, local machine here, the same machine where the Zabbix server is running, just uh, the InfluxDB is running in a container. So we must go to the configuration host and let's create a new uh, host for our InfluxDB uh, monitoring. So let's call it InfluxDB. Uh, there must be a group, so that is marked with the red star, so that is mandatory, and I will just add it to the Linux servers. And uh, there also, we will need an interface. It's sort of not needed. Uh, so we are adding an agent interface, which is used by the Zabbix agent, but in our InfluxDB template, we don't have any Zabbix agent items, but but uh, also HTTP uh, item type, which will be using the API to connect to the InfluxDB. It also requires to have at least one interface. So basically we're just adding a dummy interface. And uh, now let's link a template. So templates and just start typing InfluxDB by HTTP. Click update. There we go. We have 18 items and uh, one discovery rule, four triggers, one graph. And uh, we still have to do something. So we have a dummy interface. We need to click on a macros. And here on inherited and host macro, we can find this uh, interesting thing as InfluxDB API token. So this is what we need to gather actually from our InfluxDB setup. And it's pretty easy. So... Again, let's open the InfluxDB frontend. Oh, there it is. I think it was in a data. Yeah, in data and tokens, right? Click here. And uh, yeah, I already have this one, but I'm not sure if that was, was okay. So basically generate a token and uh, make sure that the token has access to the stuff that you actually want to monitor. And to avoid any mistakes, I will create an all access token and call it uh, Zabbix YouTube like this and uh, also what can we do uh, we can go to let's say create another organization just for the say because remember we have also a uh, low level discovery rule in the template that is discovering all the organizations in my influx db and creating a monitoring automatically so uh, let's call this uh, youtube testing and uh, same for uh, bucket so testing bucket, create, there we go. Then let's go back to the tokens, uh, Zabbix YouTube, click on it and copy to the clipboard, the token itself. And then we must go here, InfluxDB API token, click on change and rewrite the value with the token that you copy pasted from your InfluxDB. And uh, what else do we have here? So organization name matches, if it matches this, then it's gonna be discovered. So we will be discovering absolutely all organizations. Uh, if it doesn't match us, so again, an option for the filtering, uh, required fail max warnings. Uh, so for the triggers and InfluxDB URL. In my case, it is located on the same server as the Zabbix server. So it still remains a local host and the port is 8086. So if in your case, you're monitoring some remote InfluxDB server, then please change also the InfluxDB URL. And uh, I added token, so click update. And that's basically it. So what right now I can do is type Zabbix server minus R uh, config cache reload just to speed up some time.
And there we go for fast forward. So the availability is still gray because again, the monitoring is not done by this Apex agent. It is done over HTTP. And instead of previously 16 items, we have uh, 24 and those are made by low level discovery organizations or discovery. So we have a YouTube uh, organization discovered and items created for it. And if we would go to the monitoring latest data and search for InfluxDB, there we go, click apply, and you can find uh, the items which are already collecting the data. And this is the way how you can actually uh, monitor your InfluxDB with a Zabbix in a matter of like five or 10 minutes.